Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to do the find area of compound shapes. So here I have a shape, which is a pentagon, but um, it's difficult to know the formula for that. So what I want to do is I'm going to break it into two shapes. And as you can see, I draw a line here, and I'm going to break it into a triangle up top and a rectangle on the bottom. So let's start with the area of a rectangle. <clears throat> there we go. Yep just so you can tell what area I'm working on. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. And of course, area means the amount of space inside of a shape. Um, and so I'm gonna use, and they give it to us here. So 16 times 12, that is our area of this rectangle. And when I multiply those together, I get 192 yards squared. So, or yards to the power of two up there. Um, so yeah, there we go. That was pretty easy, right? That was very easy. So now I'm going to move on to the triangle. The triangle is a little less easy because the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height, but they don't tell us the base. But we know that a rec rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. And since the base of the triangle and the opposite is, is shared as one of the sides of the uh, rectangle, we know that it's 16 yards. So I'm gonna do one half times 16, and I know the height is eight. They give me the height there, so I don't know what I was trying to write there. Um, so one half times 16 is eight, so I get eight times eight, and now I get 64 yards squared. Now, you can probably guess what you have to do now. Uh, I'm gonna take the area of the rectangle and the area of the triangle, and I'm gonna add those guys together. So let's go ahead, and yeah, there we go. Area equals, that's an ugly equal sign, 192 plus 64. So area equals 256 yards squared. There you go. Hope that was helpful. Enjoy the rest of the video.